Hi everyone, I'm Lightway Val and in this video I'm going to show you how you can save a bit of time with some of the actions in Red Dead Redemption 2, as well as a few really fun things you might not be aware you can do. There are a few of these I'm going to show you, so let's jump in and take a look. I don't know about you guys, but I've been playing a lot of Red Dead Redemption 2 and sometimes the game can go at kind of a slow pace. There are lots of interactions and little things you do throughout the game, and it's a long game. You tend to end up doing these things many times, again and again, and the amount of time it takes can sometimes be off-putting. For anybody who's played the first Red Dead Redemption, you may remember the animation for skinning animals felt like it took a frustratingly long time, and if, like me, you would ride around, see something, shoot it, jump off your horse and skin it, all these animation times really added up. Red Dead Redemption 2 is a much deeper, more involved game with a higher level of detail we may have never seen before, and this means there's so much more you can do including many things which are not immediately obvious. Some of these things may have value, and some others may just be fun and look cool, but in a game this good looking, we kind of want control over some of this kind of stuff, right? So pay attention guys, because I'm going to rattle through these for you, and I'll also put a reference to each of these with a timecode in the description below. First up, when I'm playing I refer to the map a lot, but did you know you don't have to pause, or wait for the animation, and then select the map? Clicking the same button twice is about as simple as it gets to select the map, but that extra animation and button press does take time and adds up over the hours and days you'll be playing. Just hold the pause button to jump straight to the map. Easy. Next up, when you're in situations where you're chasing someone down, for example a witness who's seen you commit a crime, or maybe a bounty, or anyone who's running away from you because you're just so damn intimidating, you could attack them with your gun or throwing weapons, or you could lasso them, but there's another option, you could try firing a warning shot into the air to get their attention and try and stop them. To fire a warning shot while aiming, hold up on your d-pad before you fire. This will point your gun up in the air before you take that shot. Can't say I've had much luck with this having any effect on anybody, but the option is there and it's worth a try, and hey, if you don't know about it you can't use it, right? Now I'm going to show you a couple of cool horse manoeuvres that you unlock as your bonding level with your horse increases. The game explains these to you on screen when they're unlocked, but it doesn't hang around for long and you may have easily missed these pointers. First up, your horse will rear up when it feels really distressed and may even throw you off before running away, for example in the presence of a predator. But when you unlock horse bonding level 2, you can manually rear your horse when stationary by holding RB and pressing X or R1 and pressing square. This is really nice if you're trying to capture a cinematic vista at the top of a cliff or mountain, it just looks really cool. When you unlock level 3, you can perform skid stops and skid turns on your horse, which are not only quicker but also look great too. While galloping, and it has to be done while galloping, press RB and A, or R1 and X in a straight line to perform the skid stop, and the same buttons while turning to pull off a skid turn. If you really want, you can use the same buttons while stationary to turn your horse on the spot. I guess that could be handy if you're trying to precision park at a hitching post or something. The level 4 manoeuvre is supposed to drift while galloping, but it's not nearly as cool or as useful as the other manoeuvres unless you like to get your horse to square dance, but you can get your horse to sidestep or drift by holding X or square and using left or right. These manoeuvres are also all summarised in the help section of the game under horse, where you'd expect to find them. Did you know that little minimap in the bottom left corner of the screen can be changed and made bigger? Hold down on your d-pad and you can switch the minimap off altogether, keep the normal size minimap, or a larger minimap. The large minimap isn't just larger for the sake of it, it also shows more area around you. There's also the option just to show a compass instead of a minimap, and it's worth knowing that if you go hardcore and turn the minimap off, you can tap down on the d-pad to show it briefly. I love rocking the larger minimap, it feels so much better. Now, when you're away from your main camp, setting up a little fire, cooking some of your catches, and doing basic crafting is really handy, but man does it take time. Let's speed things up a little bit. For starters, you can hold Y or Triangle to rest instead of selecting it from your action wheel. When Arthur begins cooking something, try holding A or X to speed it up. This way, you'll find you get a lot more recipes cooked in a much shorter time, and you can be on your way again. Another thing you can speed up, which you may think, who cares, is climbing ladders, or more specifically, using gravity to your advantage when climbing down ladders. 
You'll come across some pretty long ladders at certain points in the game, so being able to get down them more rapidly is another nice little time saver. After you start the climb down a ladder, press A or X to slide down it in no time. Nice. Finally, a little gun maintenance can go a long way in Red Dead Redemption 2, and the more guns you carry, the more maintenance is required. But it doesn't matter how worn a gun is, the amount of time it takes to clean and polish is always the same. Ages. Thankfully, there's a shortcut to speed this up as well, and it makes things quite a bit quicker. When Arthur begins to clean a gun, hold X or square, and it'll be done in no time. So those are the time-saving shortcuts and handy little things I've discovered so far in the game. How about giving this video a thumbs up if you've learned something new, and leave a comment if there's anything cool or time-saving you've discovered in the game. Lastly, subscribe and hit the notification icon to be alerted when I upload more of these tips and info videos for Red Dead Redemption 2. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.